If you have seen my previous video, you may know these chrysalis I have here are of the zebra swallowtail butterfly. And this morning we have our first hatched out. This gorgeous species is native to the southeast U.S. and seeing them in the wild depends entirely on your population of pawpaw trees, which is this butterfly's only host plant on which it will lay eggs and on which its caterpillar will feed. Some interesting facts about this species is that they have a shorter proboscis or tongue than other swallowtail butterflies, so they seek out flatter and shallower flowers to nectar or drink from. They can also be observed drinking from mud puddles to obtain moisture and minerals, and interestingly, they allegedly are also drawn to rotting fruit and urine. They are commonly found in moist, low woodlands where the pawpaw tree is typically located. Looking up close, you can see this butterfly's proboscis resting on the flower. Take a look how glorious they are. Although not very large at an average of two to four inches, they are incredibly beautiful in their bold coloring, zebra stripes, blurred white patch in the wing area. And if you look closely, you can see their antenna are red as well. They actually match the lower wing. Males and females of this species are identical, so you cannot easily tell them apart without close observation. The butterfly is also known as the pawpaw butterfly, the kite swallowtail, and ajax butterfly. And although it only takes about a month for them to develop from egg to butterfly, the adult can live for about six months. So now with four planted pawpaw trees in my backyard, I can only hope these beauties will continue to visit my property and hopefully surprise us with the next generation of very hungry caterpillars.